Hey all, it's Johnny. Wanted to give you a quick look at the pH meter by uh, Mutter. Uh, they sell packets of the calibration solution to this online, but um, they really advise recalibrating after you change batteries and stuff like that. I'm going to show you opening this thing up. This, uh, this test unit. See how it has the grips right here? Right there? Don't grab those and pinch those and pull because it's just, it ain't going to work. If you grab these and pull, it's going to be tough. Grab the sides, pull it off. Comes off real easy. Grab the edges here, not here. Grab it here, pull it off. Simple. That is what's going to do the testing in there. See that bubble? pH meter. Turn it on. And it says 7 is normal pH levels for like tap water. So we'll get it in here. Swish it around a little bit. Till it levels out. So you can see we're about seven six two seven six three. Now to prove this uh, shows the difference, I put two drops of vinegar in this glass just to show you that it will pick it up. It will show the variance. It will show the difference. See that? Two drops in that glass. That's just to show you that it will pick it up. It is sensitive enough, sensitive enough to pick that up. And just getting that vinegar back in this water by rinsing it off, it'll probably drop this down from where it was. I'm sitting here splashing it and rinsing it off. But it'll probably take this down from where it was. Yeah. It'll drop it. And I rinse this off in distilled water. The tip. And you can dry off the outside. Kind of blow it off. But keeping that moist in there hurts nothing. If you um, get distilled water and rinse it off. And if it's a little moist inside there, it hurts nothing. It's good to help keep it from drying out anyway, it says. And that's what this lid's for, to help keep it from drying out. So, you use a calibration switch whenever you go to calibrate it. There's your pocket clip. Battery compartment. Good little unit, though.